mean, I want to repeat myself, Jeopardy, where you're supposed to be really, really smart and you can answer questions about Socrates and foreign policy in China, whatever the case may be, it's Jeopardy. And a question came up about one of the most <laughs> one of the most historical moments recently, the past year, mm -hmm. on Jeopardy. Mm -hmm. Turn it up and let's see what happened. To freedom, Amy. A people 12. She's the first black woman on the Supreme Court and the first justice to have been a federal public defender. That's Justice Jackson, Katanji Brown. Amy? Uh, uh... Yeah. Wait, what, what was the problem? What, what, what did I miss? They didn't know who it was. Oh, so that beep, beep, beep means that the time ran out. Yeah. Wow. Appalling. That like just happened. Like that literally just happened. That wasn't like 10 this years ago. This is Jeopardy. You don't know who's on the Supreme Court? Mm. They would have got that on Family Feud. So how you don't get that on Jeopardy? They don't know anything about us. <laughs> I mean... Judge Kataji Brown Jackson. That's, I mean, I was pretty offended when when one clip they didn't know who Shaka Khan was. That confused I, me. I but that you don't know Judge Kataji Brown Jackson. You should be disqualified from ever competing. Yeah. Ever competing in Jeopardy again. Like, that's not I even mean, history. That's like current events. Like, that literally happened this year. That's six months ago. And the the look on their face, their, their, their eyes are wide. Like, who could that possibly be? Is it Halle Berry? <laughs> they just look completely. I'm surprised they didn't say Kamala Beyonce? Harris. You know, <laughs> like, or Maxine Waters. I just, they, I just thought, okay, somebody's going to pull some Black woman's name out of, out of, a, out of a cat. But they no, didn't they just even didn't even know. have a cast. They wasn't about to lose that two hundred dollars on their low score. <laughs> that's it. I'm abstaining. <laughs> wow, that's awful. Like that's, that's you're awful. you're dumb. I'm sorry because that just happened. That's not that's not a hard question. So you mean to tell me y'all are these brilliant minds on Jeopardy, and you had no? I, I just wow. I all three of them. That's just embarrassing. But you know what? It some people don't see us. Sometimes yeah. like they if just you don't see Judge Katanji Brown Jackson. You really are not seeing us. But it's it's that's 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 a reality. I remember one time I was in Ikea. This is like I'm going gonna, gonna to bring it back. And I went to the bathroom. My sister was in line and she had to wait for me to come back so I can, you know, pay for it. And this lady started saying that she cut. And I was like, we've been in line. I was like, we've been in line for the past 20 minutes. You didn't see us. And like, no, it was all white people around us. And nobody would say that they saw us. And I was like, we the only two black motherfuckers up in here. And nobody saw two black girls in line for the past 20 minutes. Are you kidding me? People don't see us. So that does not surprise me that much that even people who are supposed to be intelligent, supposed to be well-versed, do not yeah. see the On first Jeopardy. black woman Supreme Six Court justice. Ago. That just this wasn't 1801. This was not like 1901. This was not you know, a reconstruction question. This was exactly. six months ago. It question. wasn't Hiram Revels. No. It wasn't Blanche Bruce. No. You know, I'll never forget when I was, uh, um, or, you know, when I saw you in uh, in New Orleans at the mm -hmm. Essence, Essence Music Festival, I went to uh, the Whitney Plantation. Uh, it's really mm. uh, powerful and incredible. And it, it's, it's heavy, but it's really powerful. And uh, there was a diverse group with us. And our tour guide was this uh, young white dude, really, really great tour guide. And there was an older white couple there mm. and they were asking some very awkward questions. No older. Way, they must, must have been in their seventies. And the woman raised her hand and she goes, excuse me, you keep mentioning uh, men and women. Were there women on the fields working? What? We all looked to her, and there were some uh, 
white folks who were there who were like foreigners. I think they were from Ireland or something like uh-huh. that. They were mortified. <laughs> like we're not And I could tell I could tell they were southerners, Reese. Mm-hmm. You didn't know that black women worked during slavery, worked on fields? How, we and the, the tour guide looked completely mortified. <laughs> And to his credit, he proceeded to, to lecture her for about 15 minutes Good. on on how the, the horrors that Black women experienced in slavery. Then it didn't stop there. That wasn't the only raised, dumb question. There was more. She raised her hand. It wasn't the husband. And so, oh, uh, is it possible for us to uh, rent a night out to stay here? And the tour guy goes... Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, he was almost a uh, Justin Bieber immediately. No, Absolutely not. And we're all collectively looking and how, why would you think you could stay over? I guess you got some celebrities having a, a wedding at a plantation. Well, but you know, they got their room and board and stuff. You know, they, they answer all that shit. But where, 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 where were y'all going to stay? We're literally, it's a museum. Mm-hmm. Y'all think you're going to stay in the big house and reminisce or something? Because oh, yeah. there was actually, the, the big house was there. You walked into the actual house. They don't know nothing. It just, this is what but- we talk about. <laughs> but these are the people that I try to convince us that teaching history makes them feel bad about themselves. Exactly. They're not like, oh man, that's really fucking terrible. They're like, how can I get in a piece of the action? Can I stay here? Y'all rent this out? Come on. Come on. Uh, you know, it was interesting many years ago. Uh, I think it was a, a game show on BET. Was it BET or was it a, a local Philly channel? I forgot, but I used to love to watch uh, college and uh, high school game shows mm-hmm. uh, when I was growing up in Philadelphia. And I'll never forget it. And if someone's out there, remember, you know, hit me up, I forgot the name of it. But they had this uh, weird thing where it was the suburbs uh, versus the city. <laughs> and it was very, I don't think it would do well today, yeah. but it was really fascinating. And uh, the, the, the uh, black contestants were in the city category and the white contestants were in the suburb category. These are teenagers, right? <laughs> and the um, white contestants in the suburb category, in the suburb, you know, whatever, they were bombing on all of the city questions. Mm-hmm. They were just falling apart. But the black contestants in the urban team were getting the city questions right and the suburban questions right. How about that? I mean, there was like a weird, like... Um, it was a lot, a lot of music, and it was like a, a Nirvana question or like an Alanis <laughs> Morissette, something, something like that. Yeah. I never forgot that, and they ended up winning because mm. they they now it was coded language. It was yeah, yeah, yeah. black and white. Yeah. It was very a very odd game. It was I, when I look back on it now, I'm like that's very interesting. Mm. But the city team were able to answer both questions, mm. both categories. Mm. So you got to see. Let this be a lesson, uh, whether you're on Jeopardy or. Family Feud or whatever, where you're going to a museum that's a plantation, used to be a plantation. Uh, it's really important to see beyond your lens. And, that's all. You know, it's helpful. It makes you a better human being. It makes yeah. you more worldly. Or you're going to be a, a viral clip online of not knowing who the only <laughs> Black woman judge. Three out of Black judge, three Black judges in history to be on the Supreme Court. And, and it's only nine justices. It ain't like it's 30, 40 of them. It's nine. And she's the last judge who was confirmed. Yes. 